Good morning, everybody. I am Omni Rusted. You're awesome. Welcome back to RimWorld. All right, good. Thank you, Andrew Dane. We are actually live. Uh, it's been a couple weeks that I did this, but again, you know, chemical depression, it does happen. Uh, in the meantime, our laborer, our person who was doing all of our labor, our uh, aesthetic, volatile person who basically, like, we weren't even sure that we should keep them, but then we decided to keep them uh, because we needed a laborer and they're all alone. Um, it was the first person, the the Go Chromenix, uh, the, the very, very first person uh, who I saw when somebody on YouTube said, hey, can I have a colonist? They didn't say who, so you get Go Chromenix, our laborer. So Casey, welcome to the colony. Uh, Spoon, can I have the crafter? Yes, absolutely you can. Again, anybody who is currently on, uh, watching this on VODs on Twitch after I'm done, uh, or who is on YouTube and would like to be put in the list to be a colonist later, shout it out. Let me know. I'd love to have you. Okay, so it looks like right now we got a volcanic winter going on that has been going on for only eight days. Kind of short for volcanic winter times. Um, <clears throat> there is a snowman in the middle of my defenses who should not be there because they provide 35% cover. Uh, we currently got people visiting and I don't want any more colonists, not until we have all of this done. We are also kind of okay on food. Uh, it's negative three in there. Could be better, but I'm more worried about how cold this is getting. This should be providing a little bit of a buffer zone uh, for temperature, but the problem is, is that people go in and out of there so often, it doesn't really have time to apply a buffer zone. And people keep butchering animals and leaving their meat and skins in the doorways. I wish they wouldn't do that. Uh, there's nothing really else going on. Somehow, the heel root's still alive? That's weird. We have minor break, couple minor break risks, but I usually just ignore minor break risks. Where are you guys going? Oh, there's rice out there that dropped. So, uh, this should also interest you, Spoon. Um, are you guys hearing that horrible noise in the background? We have a raid incoming. A group of pirates from the dragons are attacking immediately. Quite a few of them, but they are all... No, nope, they're not all melee. Some of them actually got some... Good weapons, if I can actually click, like a normal person. Well, we're going to need the OP EV, so, uh, everybody, what a way to start the day. Everybody get inside. No, what? Miner does not have a position yet, because they are new. Get inside. Do not fight this. Rice is not as important as your life. If you guys are hearing any background noise, please let me know. I'm a little bit worried about that. So, um... It's really hot in here, so I had to turn out. Uh, I had to open my window. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, really quick, Andrew Dan brought up something this morning, uh, which I had not thought of before this. Then there's VIP with a uh, level one tier one sub, which we need to actually, I need to work on that new emote for that. Um, so something that we need to talk about for all of my subscribers that are here today, uh, Andrew Dan brought up, hey, can I use my the money I spent on my subscription on RimWorld events? And I honestly didn't have a good answer. So yes. Wow, those those bone traps are doing quite a bit of damage. Well, it looks like they're running, and we got one of them actually captured. Holder. Masochist, so he must be very happy right now, considering that it, it looks like he lost something. Uh, he took a lot of damage there. Abrasive and Jealous. I don't like two abrasive people in the same colony. But look at those stats. A good miner, good animal trainer, good shooter. Left fourth toe cut off by the Arasan rifle. When I first subscribed, it said it would, uh, you, it was said it would not count. Well, I can change my mind. Um, I mean, if like if people are going to want to donate money anyway for RimWorld because I do the RimWorld incentives, I would totally be happy with them subscribing as well. Like I'd totally be happy with that. Evie is the only animal tamer. Nobody else could touch my doggies. Um, yeah, I don't really need him, and I don't have like any place to to put anything. So I'm just gonna say, hey, buddy, I don't really care. Uh, somebody, like, strip him on your way past, please. He also left us a semi-good gun. I don't know who that's going to go to. Actually, let's... Hey, Andrew Dan. 
Guess what? You get a gun now. Because you are actually a really good shooter and a fast walker. We want you with a good gun. Uh, nobody gripped him. Hey. There we go. Fair enough letting you know what I remembered. Yeah, but like... I'm totally cool with people doing that now. Like, it makes a lot more sense. Just, hey! Hey! Hey, it's gone. Uh, can I just click on the bodies? Yes, there we go. Get those out of here, and more cargo pods have dropped of Dark Young Sap. What? Sap squeezed from an orifice of one of the foul children of Shub Niggeroth. Uh... Good market value. Holy crap, good market value. Oh yeah, absolutely, VIP. Let me know. Like, every sub. I mean... Every sub, you got five bucks to play with this month. I don't know if I should bring that inside, or I don't know what it is. You know what, I'll bring it inside. And, uh... If somebody comes along... Ah, uh, no storage space. Maybe I can't. Like, wh where would that be? It's not dark... It's not raw strange, mate. I don't know what it is, so I guess we're just going to ignore it. Quad Manhunter. I mean, if... Okay, th there's also the rule that if you ask for several different things at the same time, I will do them in the order that I want so that I don't die, because I'm not going to sacrifice colonies for donations. I'm not going to do that again. We've done that before. I'm not doing that anymore. Not unless I'm really, really set up. And there goes people... And again... They expected more from you. Well, at least they didn't lose any any love from that. And another raid, something otherworldly is stalking. Oh god, dark deep ones. Oh crap, that's really bad. I did not expect this so soon. Deep ones. Oh god. Everybody, everybody go, go, go. We have no traps. Well, we have a few traps, and of course they hit every single one. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful, but we have no traps left. Wow. Wow. That was great. That was absolutely beautiful. I think I want to do like a... Like I'm looking at this and I'm thinking like a door right here might not actually be a bad idea because we're always throwing bone out there. Dusty will take care of that in a moment when he's done riding the boar to go building. Uh, Casey's getting in a bad mood. Why? Did somebody... Oh, you observed a dark one. I didn't even need to bring them out there. Double manhunter at your leisure. Oh man. I'm gonna let people sleep first because we just got two raids in a row. Where are you taking that? It said there's no storage space. Suddenly there's storage space, huh? Oh, in the kitchen. Apparently it is some type of food. What is it? I don't want strange cable going in there. Uh, raw strange meat. We can leave raw strange meat outside. Let's go raw strange meat. Strange kibble, bone marrow. We'll go outside. So we don't want to overload the kitchen. This is not to harm, but to deliver food. I actually, I, I think we get a lot of food right now, but like, it's entirely up to you, bro. Like, I'm happy. I'm totally happy. We have a prisoner rescued us. A prisoner being held by Kalor. He's managed to steal a radio and call you. Ame is being held at a cap. Amy? I guess Amy. It's, Amy is like, it's like Mary. People spelled in weird ways. Um... Under armed guard, rescue her, she will join your colony. She's a 57-year-old soldier. Two turrets, one mortar, and two enemies defend the side. That is... Le no, I'm ignoring you. Goodbye. No. One sooth pulse, two cargo pods, one caravan, one farm animal to join. Um, in a, in a minute, like, I'm letting my people actually catch up on sleep from the two raids in the middle of the night. First. Like, again, multiple events will be done. In, in the order at which I wish them to be, because it takes a while to get all that done. I, don't, I want that hay out of there, too. No storage space. Yeah, I thought so. We're tossing everything outside right now. I might want to actually wall this off. Huh. That should be fine. I'm more worried about the fact that, like, there's little bits of damage in this bone wall, and that's the ancient danger! <laughs> Like, hello? What? 
Blue! Oh. Oh god, I remember you. You died. Uh, well, first, because VIP called it first, we're going to do the double Manhunter event. Now, for anybody who is watching this on YouTube, I do uh, incentives on Twitch uh, where you can do donations or, in this case, use your uh, use your subscription on Twitch, which uh, Twitch Prime subscriptions do count, uh, to do events in-game, make these a little bit more interesting. All that, all that was $5. The $2 for the cargo pods, $1 for a caravan. One farm animal and a sooth pulse. He's right. Five. Uh, first, we're doing a double manhunter. Which is... Where is it? It doesn't say manhunter. I remember. It wasn't even on this one. I remember. Wild man wonders and farm animals. Manhunter pack. So, double manhunter. We have... Pack of man hunting wargs. That's actually really terrifying. Uh, looks like two of them here. They might hit some of the webs from that spiderling thing. Uh, they were all three, but I changed it back. I, I most... Um... That's a lot of chickens. Interesting. And if the, uh, remember the, 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 el uh, the caribou that attacked us? Were they elk or caribou? I don't remember. But, like, if they were any indication, this might actually do a lot of damage. VIP is in a major break risk right now. Is there anything I could fix really quick? Like, food. Uh, slept in the cold, unsightly environment, absorbed corpse. Now it's the deep ones. Um, well, I don't have anything that could fix that at the moment. Fortunately. We're just gonna try and get everybody into position. Uh, they are beaten at the kitchen door. They want to be food so bad. Okay, good. They are coming around. Uh, Eevee. Let me select Eevee here. I want the bear to be tanking this as much as I possibly can. It's the chickens or the Legend of Zelda? Oh, God. And the wargs arrived at the exact same time. We're able to shoot down a bunch of them, but the warg might take a lot of... Uh... Oh, nope. The warg went down right away to a very lucky headshot. It looks like this is not going to be as dangerous as I was worried about. So I think that we're good. I think we're good. Oh! Oh, he's coming in! Uh, Eevee! Release the bear! Oh god, VIP's on the bear! <laughs> it's okay, VIP can take the bear. Uh, VIP should not be there, he is our doctor. VIP took the only damage this entire fight, but it was a lot of it. Uh, from the work pause. Well, it looks like we got them all. Good job, everybody. VIP, go heal up. That's gonna be a lot of food, which we do not have room for. Luckily enough, we are in the middle of a volcanic winter, meaning just negative nine outside. Anything we put outside, uh, can be frozen up. Let's actually set this to a lower priority, I guess. Yeah, we'll put this to, uh, why are there bodies in there? Oh, there's human meat in there, that's right. Oh. We need to fix that, um, because, like, we, we need room for our actual meals. There's a lot of pemmican in there, too. Maybe if I just take the pemmican out, we'll have enough food, enough room. But there's still, again, we run into the problem there's no place to put the pemmican, so we're gonna actually delete this entire cotton growing zone here. Start putting food in here. Just because we have room, this will be overflow. So, no rotten. Normal priority. <clears throat> we'll put everything in there. Just everything, but at a lower priority to everything else. No corpses, though. Those have a specific place to go. So there is a place for those to go. There we go. All right. Why are there bodies in the fridge? Human meat to sell for later? Uh, hum I mean, human meat for the bears to eat. But this way we can start taking, like, pemmican out of there... Takes up a lot of room. And VIP is still a major break risk. He did get kind of get hit in the face by a warg, but it's alright. He's alright. Uh, the no, Neither of the wargs died instantly. All the chickens did, though. We're okay. I need, I need to do something about the deep ones right away. So let's go into uh, another butcher creature. 
do forever. This will be all monstrous corpses and do those first to get them out of the way. Really fast. And Dusty is an inspired recruiter. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any more people for quite a while now. To be fair, it was entirely my fault in the meta science. It was. That's true. Uh, VIP got patched up, right? Yes, he did. Uh, but since we also have the donations from Andrew Dan, I'm actually going to do a Soothe Pulse first. Let's see. There's something else you requested. Uh, can we keep at your choice a Soothe Pulse in case of emergency? I'm gonna do it now. So why not, you know? Psychic Soothe. Yeah, this is mostly just to keep VIP from going crazy. Uh, and a lot of people are have lower moods right now because of the, uh, the deep ones. So we'll use this to get rid of the deep ones as well. Eclipse, I will work on that. Uh, let's actually prioritize him. Since we got enough meals right now, we'll prioritize that to butchering at the table. Get rid of the human bodies. What are you? Oh, the deep ones. Yeah, get rid of the deep ones. Uh, the pemmican is outside. I'm going to also go into allow cleared area and animal allowed. Uh, animal grazing and make sure the animals do not go into this animal grazing area so that they don't also eat the pemmican. However, we have no other farm animals at the moment. So I guess I don't really need to worry about it too much. Because we had to butcher all of our farm animals. Howie is somehow still alive. I could use this Soothe as a chance. She's Dusty female. Uh, no, Dusty is male in this one. It's a female Soothe thing, so, uh, like, you can't actually take advantage of that for the people who are currently in bad moods. That's unfortunate. Andrew Dan, go ahead, refuel that one. That's all of our light and all of our heat right now, and it's already negative six. I wish there was a way to prioritize which building is being done, because I would love for those traps to be replaced. Like, that would be super nifty. I mean, I can't tell him to prioritize those first. I guess I might as well, but like, that's all of them. I wish I could just thought like, hey, these are priority six, but then again, I, I play a lot of uh, oxygen not included, and that's basically an oxygen not included thing, where you can set things at a higher priority. Also, that spider has never been butchered. That's really weird. Uh, a lynx is hunting our miner for food. You go here, and let's get the closest people to get up there to help, because why not? That is meat on the... I, was, I would usually say hoof, but I guess paw coming right at me. A shotgun waiting for you. Ha ha. Ha ha! Try and hunt me for food. Or predators. Let's see what else was there. Uh, two cargo pods. We'll do, the two, we'll do the two cargo pods tomorrow. I think I'm going to let my people sleep a little bit. More food! More food! At a kitchen that's just very, very quickly getting filled up with human meat. Different types of human meat, too. On a manhunter and a raid at the same time? Well, you know how to... Oh, well, I mean... You have a subscription as well, goddamn. However, that's not an option. So... Remember, if you do two events at once, that is not a specific, you know, this is two events you can do at the same time. I will choose whether to do them at once or in a row. Depending on the state of our colony, because we do not allow um, colony killing donations anymore. That was always a mistake before. I'm also very worried that this episode is going to be nothing but me handling subscriptions. <laughs> Which is kind of unfair to the YouTube people. I understand. Alright, Casey's doing her normal thing. Just running around, cleaning, doing all that stuff. We are actually somehow getting these uh, traps done first. Which is really good. Um, the traps are a majority of our defense. And something that I worry about very strongly. I have to move those bones out of there. Luckily, with the, uh, the door here and... The Oh, the rats are just boning. Okay, oh, what is this? A 
arachnid meat outside. Uh, do I want that meat in the arachnid? Yeah, I don't care, I guess. I just don't... Uh, no, no, I don't, because the boom rats are hanging out in there. Let's not have any food <laughs> in this. Like, that's... That's not going to work for me. That's not going to work. Not with the boom rats. I don't want the boom rats anywhere near my base. This episode, Twitch viewers ruin things for the YouTube viewers. Exactly. Like, come on, guys. Which is why I'm trying to take things a little bit slower. I'm also watching our temperature really strongly right now. I'm really worried that these two heaters are not going to be enough because it's 13C in here. Uh, luckily, that's mostly being ruined by the fact that both of these doors are constantly open for people hauling things back and forth. VIP is fully healed, and we have discovered electricity! Forgot I had a hotkey for that. It's not a good sound for it. I, I'm going to be doing a lot more sounds on that mark so I can actually do some sounds myself. But electricity. Yeah. Danger, danger. Uh, where are we? What do we want to be doing next? Probably batteries first. Yeah, we'll do batteries first. And then we're going to be doing... Um, let's see. The next one was going to be... I'm thinking... Two cargo pods from Andrew Dan. Which is... Right here, I think? Pod. Yes, resource pod crash. One. And two. So we have... Silicone. Yay! I could sell that, I guess. And... Pemmican! That's actually really cool! We need to get that before all the animals run up there and take every single bite of it, since we're taking away all of their food and trying to make them starve. Thank you, Interdan, for the two cargo pods. And there goes the buffalo. Look at him go. Yeah, oh my god. A rat has self-tamed. The rat realized that the best way to get inside and get to my food was to self-tame. That way he can go into our kitchens on his own. <clears throat> Little does he know. <sighs> Excuse me. That that is a bad idea. Look at that muffalo just racing us up here to the pemmican. Rabbit's already here, chowing down. God, this muffalo's gonna eat us out of house and home. But I don't want to kill him. What I really need is medicine. I'm actually kind of worried about medicine. If anybody right now gets plague, which is basically pneumonia as well, like... I guess kind of bad. Yeah, a self-taming rat. Like, the rat's like, okay, if I act friendly, can I be fed? And we're like, sure. What? What? A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly sickened by the toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It will last for anywhere between a few days to over a season. Oh my god. With volcanic winter, during the winter, the gloves are off, Cassandra. Oh my god. Um... So what this means, all of this meat. Uh, oh man. Okay, well, at, 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 at first, uh, one of the things we can do is we can roof this. And that's going to help a lot there. Um, we're probably going to want to roof this whole thing, as a matter of fact. It's not going to be used for quite a while. I'm going to roof here. I want to try and roof up everything that I can as far as I can, and where, in the, in the areas that they are building, so that we can continue to work while they're doing this. Um, all the animals are going to die that are outside. I need to keep my animals inside, so we need to restrict all animals to the animals allowed area. What this does mean is our animals are literally going to be eating us out of house and home now. Because all we've got is, we got a lot of, we got a lot of cannibal meat here. Um, so that'll, that'll sustain us for quite a while, as well as the pemmican here. That's hopefully going to be able to get us through this volcanic motherfucking winter. Ugh. Those were your colonists? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be tough. Uh, let's also do a couple things here, like, just to lessen the effects of this. We're going to try and build a small overhang outside of that. 
and we'll build one there. And let's get these inside. These wood? Those are bone. Oh yeah, I just did one one wood. Oh boy. Uh but basically anything that we're gonna be spending a lot of time over, we want to have roofed. So all the animals are gonna stay inside now because animals are honestly too stupid to not go outside. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. And we're gonna have to keep a watch on all their health and all the toxic buildup. Already at five percent. The hope is it will only last a few days. Also means I'm not going to be doing the rest of the stuff that everybody asked for until this is over. Volcanic winter and toxic fallout is kind of bad to be having at the same time. It is 24 degrees inside. Who said you could do that? Also, Eevee has not killed the rat yet. Um, we have a lot of meat. And we have a lot of pemmican, so I'm not exactly worried about running out of food anytime soon. Well, okay, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. We could... switch over to actually powering our place now, instead of using the wood fire generators. Are you worried about me? Not entirely, no. Do we want to switch over to wood fire generators? It might be time. We don't have air conditioners, so there's not much we could do there anyway. I guess. Uh, we have idle- did I restrict everybody inside? I did, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to restrict the animals into the animal allowed area, not everybody. Sorry guys. It's like, we need to get those chickens in. Of course, you know, go ahead and take the bears out there. That's a fantastic. I can't really tell them not to do that. A giant spider has become ta- what? A giant spider arrived on the map and instantly became tame after eating a hell of a lot of animals. Oh my god. That wandered up there with the pemmican. I actually want to keep this guy and they do eat meat, I believe, because this can get a spider silk. Which would be really nice. I'd never really tamed these guys before. Monstrous Muffalo sized. It's Muffalo sized! What? Those things are like. Oh my god, they're like. What was it? Seven feet tall? Or. It was like seven to nine feet tall at the shoulder. Oh, okay. Genetically engineered predator features eight legs, a hard shell, and a venom spite. Uh, they eat raw meat, corpses, meals, processed foods. Okay, so we can keep that fed. Do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh no, they have a hell of a lot of armor. Um, but mostly we get silk from them, which is totally cool, and I'm actually really cool with it. It looks like it can also carry a lot, which makes sense. They're kind of big. But let's get this inside right now. See, look, it's much better doing it this way. You don't have to lace webs and everything everywhere. You can just eat meat that's lying around on the ground. Yeah. And new lovers, Dusty and Miner. Courted by cheerfully making fun of her animal taming ability. Considering that V Miner is not an animal tamer? Oh no, they're actually quite good at it. Huh. Well, time to destroy Dusty's bed. Dusty gets to build himself a new bed. Now the spider, we can start having spider mini love. Yeah. I have mini, little mini spiders. Alright, and dude, dude, let's make a double bed. Bone. You may now present all of your boning jokes as is needed. This will be Dusty and Miners. Because that mood boost is something I do not want to lose. Good, they'll chop the trees automatically when they are set to proof, so that's actually something I was worried about. Let the command be like, well that was fast. No! <laughs> that is not how we do things here. I'm gonna look at weapons really quick, um, see who still has bows. I want to get rid of those bows. The Psychic Soothe is ending, but it helped, it did its job. Uh, Casey has a, is that a short bow or a long bow? 
that is a short bow. We can replace that with... I actually think that kind of has the better range. We got magnums here, so we'll go with the revolvers. Uh, and a pistol with that. Just to, just because of the extra damage and the faster shooting. You know, it's it, it's a thing. Dusty's asleep in the middle of the day. That's okay. Miner's also taking care of all the building. That bone armor does not fit over the ponchos. It goes under it, and that looks very strange. You can only see it on Miner when there's... when they're turning to the side, and that's a little weird. But that's alright. Really wish there was some kind of command. Uh oh, major break risk. Casey is a major break risk. Why? Uh, because you saw rotting corpses and we butchered human life. Uh, and you're in darkness currently. Where are, where are you? Oh, you're outside. Uh, recreation unfulfilled, that's something that's your problem. And a cynic has a dull bedroom, which you like. Something the cold shouldn't be there anymore. Wish you had some other mask cat. I know, we, we should get that off of you. Doesn't look right. Um, I could also make more stuff. Like we're we want to keep people indoors right now. So let's do two of those. Explodipede helms. <coughs> and two mega spider helmets. Like let's clear some room in here. Get that going. Uh, these are still normal, so I want to get them inside. I might want to wear those. There we go. And Eevee's awake, so let's grab Eevee here and get rid of that mask, because it just looks dumb. Somebody else can put it on. Alright, uh, so it's been one day. Let's do a quick toxic buildup check. Uh, nothing. That's good. Anybody over 10% toxic buildup will be put inside. 8.4, that's getting close. And we'll do one of these every morning. And see where everybody is. I'm gonna turn off the debug mode for a bit until this is over. We're not doing any more events until this is over. It's a little bit horribly dangerous, so... And Eevee put the skull back on. Just really like that skull. In fact, I think wasn't that what wasn't that what Casey was wearing when they first arrived? I don't remember. But there was no other hats to choose either, so we can wait until at least the first hat is done. There was a solar flare! Oh no! Our massive amount of electronics! And some cargo pods. Cassandra is trying to apologize, but we aren't listening. Those are right next to us, so we'll get those inside. Um, we are really low on meat. And we got the chickens. What am I saying? Eclipse is just not doing his job. Eclipse, what are you doing? You're making wax. That, that is important, actually. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, temperature in there is incredibly high. Because all the animals keep going in and out. Um, it is almost tempting to just block this door. That way people have to go all the way around to get to food. Just to keep it frozen and cool in there, let's do that. It's going to be weird. Uh, we're going to expand the roof out here. It's going to be weird. People have to go all the way around to get their food. But I gotta keep this room frozen. I gotta freeze this room if we're gonna keep all that meat. Um, Evie found another skull to put on. <laughs> like, I, I got it off of him. Spring has begun, but we're still in the middle of a volcanic winter, so it's not going to help at all. Casey is still really unhappy because of those ro that one rotting corpse they saw. And recreation is still unfilled. 
You know you're the one that is in charge of your recreation, right? I can't make you do recreation. Toxic Fallout is still here too. Let's do another quick check here. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, the ones I'm really gonna watch are like Dusty and Miner. It seems to be going away pretty fast right now. Yeah, nobody has it. Well, okay. we have a block drain. That's that let me clear it up quick. Oh, whoa! And there, all my relations went down because I don't care why. Honestly, I really don't. Okay, Evie, we're gonna try this again. Take off the mask. Don't touch that one either. There are other masks around now. The first one did get done by VIP. There are other things to put on other than a skull face. I want to look cute. I want to look dangerous. It's freezing. It is freezing in there. Good. Okay. And temperatures are staying a little bit more normal in here, too. Uh, yeah, the big problem with that is the animals going in and out just non-stop all the time. And a giant spider is now hunting little Eevee for food. Oh... Oh, that's a mistake. You have made a bad decision right now. That was that was that was not a good idea. <laughs> you don't you don't go after Eevee, I'm sorry. I think we still have plenty of food right now. We still got all the pemmican. We're really low on meat. Surprisingly, um, I think all of our stuff is getting made into meals, and I think that's what the animals are going for first. Um, battery research is done. That's good. We want to go for air conditioning next. Maybe solar panels. Eh, we'll do air conditioning first. Um, by the time everything runs off, it might be summer, and then we'll need to cool everything really, really quickly, keep our stuff frozen. Um... I'm sitting here trying to figure out, like, how exactly could I make it so that the animals could get in just this room, but not this room? Because this is the big problem, is all of our temperatures leaving here. If I wanted to, what I'd really do is basically go with, like, a wooden door here. And go through here. And I want temperature to be exchanged between these rooms. So, let's grab Dusty. Uh, the only big problem is that, you know, people are going to get interrupted in the middle of their poo. All the time. But, oh god, a flash storm. Oh, there should be no trees to burn. It might hit us, though. That'd be bad. Yeah, that is directly over our wooden home. Nope, it's done. Okay. Alright, so done that. Uh, block that door, open that door. And then make it so that our animals cannot get in here so that they don't eat our meals. I want to eat our meals. I don't want the animals eating it. Get out of here! Oh, God damn it. Every time. Animals never listen. They can go through these doors, so they're going to in order to get to the different allowed areas. I hate that. I hate that so much. Yeah, they're just completely ignoring the allowed areas because they have, they're trying to get to the different areas. Uh, in fact, let's try and give them a route to go instead. Let's see if they'll take that as an uh, option. Uh, visitors have arrived at the Feline Woods from the southeast. They're afraid to enter your territory because of toxic fallout and volcanic winter. Dude, I'm afraid to be here, all right? All right? If you send them away, they will stay in the area and come back later. Um, I mean, we've got guest beds, as long as there's not too many of them. There's a lot of them. There's, there's just a lot of them. It's alright. It's alright. If they stay indoors, they should be fine. It's not my problem. Uh, quick toxic check. Nobody. Wow. Uh, a little bit here. Does the Is the volcanic winter making the toxic fallout easier to deal with? Is that a thing that's happening? Okay, Eevee has some horns on now. Eevee chose a skull, but it's at least a more attractive skull. Hmm. I'm gonna... Since we're about to get... Um... 
air conditioning going. I'm actually going to do that. And we're going to make it so that this area is blocked. I usually leave, I, I would usually leave like this area open for air conditioning units. So I'm going to basically make it so that air conditioning units can go there and there. But if we install air conditioning units before our defensive walls are done, they still won't be able to get in and destroy the air conditioning units. Like, we're doing little bits at a time to make sure that we're defensive, but not overwhelming us, overwhelming ourselves with the amount of stuff that we're making. Right, everything seems pretty copacetic. Uh, we still have pemmican for food. All the chickens are already gone, and all the meals from those chickens are already gone. Ugh. I probably do a little bit of hunt. Oh, we can't do hunting. Oh, we can hunt that thing. Evie, go get it. Like toxic fallout, everything's dead, and the second that they die in toxic fallout, their bodies rot instantly. So he's still minor. Let's go get him for food. Well, it's a little bit longer before we have to do other crazy stuff, and I'm not worried about Evie getting too much toxic fallout while he's there. Surprised he didn't ride a bear out there, though. I don't want to go get that spider silk yet. Uh, what? What? Are you? What are you doing outside? What? Are, what are you doing out here? What are you? What the hell? Oh, you're incredibly old. Um. Okay, well, this is unfortunate for you. Uh, but hey, uh, do we want to do something about this? Do we even care? If he dies on my land, they'll be unhappy. Um. Well, looks like we have extra rooms in here. Yay! <laughs> because Miner moved in. So let's grab Dusty, work on that, make that a guest bed, and... Uh, not a guest bed, not a guest bed. It needs to be a medical bed. And somebody... Uh, is there anybody out there? Nope. Nope. Well, VIP, you go grab him. And Dusty, work on beds. Good. Let's make some more guest beds, just so they have some place to go. And he's up! Hopefully he doesn't go too far this time. I mean, I know he will, but I can dream. Let's make sure he doesn't go too far by making these actually guest beds now. Like, there were five of them, I believe. And Eevee immediately swapped out the cool looking helm for a weird splota beat helm. I cannot control what Eevee is doing. This is out of my purview. This is none of my business anymore. Eevees will do what Eevees do. Oh, that Megasol gave us so much meat. That'll last maybe a day. Uh, temperature's still staying low enough and high enough in here. Good. Relations with the kinship of the merciful Gaw Shock. What was the what? No, nope, nothing. Okay, I guess somebody exited the map safely. And it improved relations? I don't remember anybody being on the map for that. I don't know what that was. I think like some random person was just on the map. Traveling through. Fell down because of toxic fallout, and then got back up and left. And they're like, good job for having a livable situation. I didn't feed them or anything. I don't know what the hell they were. Man, I cannot keep Casey happy. <laughs> no matter what I do. Uh, the only real thing that I could do right now to really get like more food would be like, if I set up some... An 
item stash quest, huh? Might be a good idea to get people off the map. Uh, we don't have that yet. I was gonna say, like, set up... I don't know, we do have sun lamps. Set up some sun lamps. And power it with, like... Like, one wood field generator. Actually, I might do that. <laughs> That's... It just sounds like such a bad idea. <laughs> just to get a little bit of stuff growing. Uh, let's see. Wapoon, chief of the Alliance of the Violent Farmland, has informed us of the collection of valuable items. Hyperweave 150 and Glitter World Medicine. 14 Glitter World Medicine! There are one slept sleeping mechanoids in the area. It is spring, so if we actually left to go get this, it might actually be a great idea. It is... Looks like several days walk. Evie and Dusty could do it. Or maybe Evie and VIP. Um. Let's say Evie and VIP. We have a doctor. With the bears. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually not a bad idea. Or a terrible idea. It could be one of the two. Uh, let's take the herbal along just in case uh, somebody gets hit. We don't want it to go infected. 1.1 days? Yeah. This is a terrible idea. I love it. Let's do this. It'll get them away from the toxic fallout. You know. I didn't send the beds with them. I should have sent the beds with them. Oh well. I always forget about the bedroll mod that I have. Uh, looks like this room is entirely full up. That's not cool. Too. They were... The state was okay. <laughs> like, well, you've got volcanic winter, you've got toxic fallout, we understand things kind of suck right now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah they do! A lot! Uh, we're just gonna hope that their old dude can actually get off the field right now. They're traveling north. Trying his best! No, that that's just another old dude who is also frail. They look like they're doing okay. Why did Hume rot away? It should be frozen. Oh, it is... Why is it getting warm in there? What? Still a little bit of temperature exchange. Screw it. I want this room to be frozen. I do not want to waste potential animal food. Ah, uh, God. Andrew Dan now. Because everybody's just... Why is it... Where is everybody seeing these rotting corpses? I bet they keep going up there. For some strange reason. Um, Let's make another allowed area. We're going to just take area one here. Do like just because moods are gonna be really bad right now, and then we're gonna go into manage areas and then invert that, and then restrict everybody to area one, and then take only Eclipse Eye because Eclipse Eye don't give a crap. He's a psychopath. Is there any other psychopaths we have? Uh, yes, Spoon is also psychopath. Okay, so those two are unrestricted. Like, we still need people to do this stuff, but we want people to be in good moods. Because that's going to keep happening. Uh, there is some catnip joints. I don't think those affect anything but, but Orosins, though. Much like smoke, leaf, the drop of composed mood, but also increases appetite, reduces food, slows movement. Catnip can produce a dependency. Can't be produced without equipment in a crafting spot. Um, apparently people can be in good moods. So try that. No, it actually gives you a mood boost. Huh. I mean, it shouldn't. Catnip doesn't do that. <laughs> Maybe it's special Arasan catnip. I don't know. We have components, don't we? Oh, we don't have any components. This must have gone straight into the wood stoves. That's unfortunate. Huh. 
We got some components here. We can go dig those up. Help wanted. <laughs> Uh, no. That is not happening at the moment, thank you. I am busy. I am busy trying to survive. Oh man, I am so far out of pemmican right now. Um, I doubt there's anything else on the field to go kill. We might have to take advantage. Oh, we just took a lot of pemmican on the caravan, never mind. I was gonna say, like, we might have to take advantage of the farm animals that Andrew Dan wanted to wander in with his donation. That might be a thing that has to happen. Uh, go ahead, Dusty. Refuel that. This should help. Well, the room is going to be cold. I don't even know why I did that. That was a complete waste of time. It doesn't even... It doesn't even generate enough watts to power one sun lamp. That was a complete waste of time. That was a complete waste of time and materials, and I'm very embarrassed that that just happened. <laughs> um, I mean, if possible, I'd like to get some <clears throat> heaters here to replace these wood stoves instead. But like, that was that was dumb. I did a dumb, dumb to dumb dumb. Still not freezing. Why is it 10 degrees? Oh, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually warming up outside. What? Uh, let's do a quick toxic check. 13. Andrew Dan is being locked inside. Okay. Okay. Who's next? Anybody? Uh, Katie has 6.16. She's fine. Minor. 4%. Okay, Andrew Dan, you're now locked in. Sorry, buddy. And here we are. The caravan has arrived at the item stash. I want that Glitter World Medicine. It looks like a Lancer, which is not cool. Uh, Lancers are going to be much, much harder kill. I can get pretty close to him, though, and I can get VIP to engage him in melee and get the bears in there, too. Actually, if I just get Eevee to handle this... Come on, bears. Looks like only one bear is trying to follow right now, but I can get the bear in there first. Eevee started shooting! Why? Ah, Eevee woke it up. Release the bear. And in the same, in the exact same time, we have a group of tribes people coming in. Uh, riding a lot of animals. Looks like they are all melee. Um, that could be handled pretty quickly. Uh, were they attacking immediately? Uh, they are preparing. I still want to be prepared, though, because they're super duper close to our base. So, boop, get everybody ready. And go back to that. Yeah, Eevee just screwed up that entire fight and... Got our bear killed. Congratulations, Eevee. You fucked up so incredibly bad right now. You only got bruised by the charge lance. What? And a manhunter pack. What is going on right now? Oh well, at least we got some food out of this. Oh my god, there's so much fighting. Okay. Okay, Evie got him. Bear is dead. Now you guys reform. Because I cannot pay attention to you right now. Uh, can we take the bear's body with us? That is an important thing. That's a lot of food. Cannot. Damn. Because the bear is pregnant. I didn't notice that. Can't take it with. Yeah, AI going ham. Like, holy crap. Uh, we at least got the Glitter World Medicine and the Hyperweave. <clears throat> we did lose a bear, unfortunately. But at least we have a pregnant bear. 
So at least, so you guys go. I can't, I can't pay attention to you right now, because we have a raid coming in, and the problem with that raid is we don't have EV to take care of it. Can you chop any nearby trees in that zone? Probably. But there's no real reason to build a butcher table. I'm not that we don't have the weight to carry the meat with us. I thought about that too, but like, there's no reason. Um, all my animals are going outside right now. I don't want them to do that. So we're gonna clear the allowed area just for a second here, because they're gonna attack the dogs. Yep, they're gonna attack the dogs. Would you guys not? Please, please. All our traps are being taken up by the Ibex, and the dogs are letting in the raiders! Oh my god, you idiots! No, don't go out that door. Honest Wasp can just die, okay? We do not have time for this. Spoon. Go here with your gun, and everybody else get in this direction. Uh, actually, let's keep... Eclipsites and Miner out here to try and at least drag them into the couple traps that we have left. But it looks like we're going to be fighting here otherwise. Oh, they are coming around, but they're also destroying that. Uh, if they destroy that, that's fine. We can deal with it. Deal with it. You guys get to your spots. No, no, don't get out of the doorway. Ah, damn. People are being suicidal right now. Come on. Yes, I know. And a dog went. Why? Why? You are not allowed in that air. Ah, oh, fucking. Fuck you, Labrador. No, stop! Well, that's okay. You have a stupid name anyway. Oh my god. If the dogs would stop committing suicide, we can actually fight this. Please, and thank you. Seriously, what the hell? There, look, look! Fighting them the way we're supposed to! I don't want to go- oh my god, they're lighting fires. To a water bucket? Okay. I need a shotgun in that. And they lured me into a place, but the trap was set by me. This is actually working, and I did not expect this fight to work this way. Uh... <laughs> it worked! Oh my god, okay, that worked. Wow. Alright. Looks like we win! Okay. They destroyed my toilet. Uh, hygiene, there we go. Not hygiene, misc. Right there. Dusty, I need you to work on that, like, right away. This one was set. Oh, no, they didn't get set. Well, whatever. Uh, and Betradoa. Set fast on a grand xenophile. We don't want anybody else. I don't even know why I'm looking. We're not going to do anything with that. Casey, go! Strip him. Whoop. And then rescue honest wasp. And Andrew Dan. Ah, eh, you're a nighttime doctor. That's right, I forgot. Alright. Yeah, I, I I don't expect Honest Wasp to actually make it. We're gonna try. Uh, but severe blood loss is a thing. Casey has gone on a food binge. To what? We have no food. We have very little food, and you're gonna eat all of it. Oh. Well, luckily we just got a ton of Ibex. Uh Yes, eat that. Thank you. Thank you. Eat all of that. Casey's just going to eat a bunch of prepared meals. That's fine. So, uh, anyway, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like what you saw... 
make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. I am Omni Rusted. You've been great. See you next time.